Dean on the street here in Port Jefferson. I'm driving down from home, coming up north here on Main Street. And who do I bump into? Dino, Dino on, the on the street, my new artist friend. <laughs> and he's out here painting I feel like a he's leg the me. legendary Tara Inn of Port Jefferson. Incredible. Doing a little terrible. Incredible artwork. Listen, uh, Dino. Yeah, Dean. A magnificent, just a magnificent piece of. I mean, how? Thanks. How many hours in so progress? Far? How many hours in progress? Well, it's not this? an hourly. It's I, as a matter of fact, DJ remembers I was painting this last summer, and I haven't finished it yet. So it's a daytime thing. The sun isn't out right now, but um, there are some things I can work on. I decided to get a little crazy and go with every single brick on the whole picture. Every brick. So uh, you know, it'll probably be about eighty or a hundred hours before it's done, but. It's time well spent, and I enjoy it, and get to meet cool people, and uh, hey, listen. including Dean on the street, <laughs> hey, driving by. I can't, again. I can't believe <laughs> that about a week ago, I happened to be walking at the Setauket Mill Pond, walking around, and walking through Setauket, and next thing you know, I'm at your house, and your lovely daughter, the two of you, uh, invite me in. We've become friends ever since. And now We've you're been, stalking me. And, <laughs> and here I am driving through Port Jefferson, and you're out here. And here he hey, listen, you got to tell my audience. I know you could probably go on for hours, but real quickly, I've got to ask you because they're going to want to hear it. Sure. How did this all start becoming an artist? What inspired you? Was there somebody? You know, I. Why an artist? Okay. Um, we all have artistic talent in us. I always like to draw and paint. Went to school for law, didn't like it, decided I might need a lawyer, I didn't want to be the lawyer that I'd need. Um, and uh, just started to uh, paint and draw more and then made drawing my, my, ma my major and went into the ad business. After, the, after my day was done in the ad business, I went to art school at night so I could leave the ad business at one point and enjoy my life every day doing what I really want. That's what I do now. And I get to run into cool people like you. Amazing. And DJ. You know, I was listening to you very carefully and uh, a little bit similarities in a, in a way. I mean, I went into a family business. The name of the company was Twin Lab. A lot of people, uh, still a lot of my fan base doesn't know my past history with work. A uh, nutraceutical company called Twin Lab, three decades. And uh, my four older brothers, all being twins, Twin Lab, were all in the business. So, you know, what position was I gonna hold? And, uh, you know, summer of 79. Vitamin tester? Uh, no, I said I wasn't going to be a bean counter, I wasn't going to be a CFO, and I wasn't going to go to law school to be a lawyer. That sales and being out there with the people just like I'm doing with you and I'm doing with everybody with my show, I'm having a great time. You're doing but, a great job, But Dean. listen, my fans and my audience are going to hear a lot from Dino on the street. Very talented artist. Thank you very much. That lives here locally. And just to let you know that I have some work up at the Riboli Center Gallery in Stony Brook. It's all equestrian-based horse stuff with Roberto Gutesco, a couple of other artists. We're going to get down and, and interview Lois Riboli down at that center at some time this weekend. Now that I'm going to talk to you about that. Hey, we got to uh, we got to see you. We got to also tell everybody this is legendary. This and legendary ta this Tara Inn is pretty special. Great and food, D great uh, great lobster special. DJ, and, you gotta you gotta show this. A nice this cold beer. This, this beautiful, beautiful uh, we're good. picture, man. You're a, you're a talented guy, man. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. Good so, to see you. So listen, have a great weekend. Thank you. Until next time, catch you on the street.